uh, and full disclosure, my Instagram profile, my pronoun is listed as attack helicopter. So you can let everyone know exactly where you are. Um, so yeah, the, the military is a very specific and strategic job and that's to keep our country safe. And when you thrust them in to be the front line of a sociological experiment, which has a pernicious ideology that makes people hate the United States, a soldier can very quickly start to despise the very thing he's supposed to be protecting. As the military is getting woke, it's learning that its country is evil and racist and xenophobic and greedy and it steals land. And so why in the world should I defend something that is evil and awful? And the, the answer is, is no, only evil people would defend evil things. And so it's really less about whatever little headline is happening right now. It's really more about the totality of what wokeism is doing the military in general. The whole structure, the whole anti-everythingism that wokeism is, is destroying the very fabric of why a soldier would even fight. You're demoralizing the troops. So it's something far more at the heart of what a soldier is. You're destroying their love of country and therefore their reason to fight and possibly die for their country. We can't survive it. My question for the general would be is, are you studying the enemy's playbook to war against them or to join them? And judging by things like the Afghanistan withdrawal, it looks like we're more interested in supplying them all kinds of weapons that will absolutely be used and have been used to kill innocents. And so I wonder, is the, the general reading to join them or to defeat them? And it looks like the former, not the latter. My background was in special operations and I'm forever connected to that specific brotherhood. And I do know that that type of elite soldier, whether it's army rangers or seals or special forces, they are highly pragmatic, they're intelligent, and they're very impervious to bullying. Uh, they're not woke. They don't go woke. You can't make them be woke. Wokeism forced upon the military will absolutely make you lose your most elite soldiers. We'll lose them. If we can't get strong leaders who understand that their job in the military is not to play sociological games, but it's to keep our borders safe from all enemies, foreign and domestic, uh, um, we're in serious trouble. That's, that's problems that we cannot survive. There's an ancient quote by a warrior poet named Thucydides. And he says, um, the state that separates its scholars from its warriors will have its thinking done by cowards and its fighting done by fools. We have to have strong uh, military leadership that cares about pragmatic in real world results to keep people physically safe. They're everyday Americans, they're civilians, they're military, they're police, they're EMS, they're doctors, bankers, lawyers. They're all of us, and that's what we're after. We're after the common man uh, who loves freedom and uh, who lives for higher purpose, is ready to sacrifice in the defense of others, and that's, that's the whole ideal.